day six, and uh, we're here at the Spenis place. You know, I scouted this a while back, and then actually physically saw it only like a couple weeks ago, and it just has all the characters of like a kind of a like a mad scientist type lab. What they do here, they're actually like artists, and they actually do product design here. So I was like, oh, this is the perfect fit for somebody. Why try to build a set that's not going to be realistic? So like, yeah, machinery and surrounding me. These are the things that someone would use. I think everyone thinks, oh, a director has this grand vision. Yes, I have this grand vision, but then how do I connect it all together? And then how do I do it efficiently, like on a budget, and make it practical? And I mean, I think the most important thing is what you're trying to do is, is make it believable. So when you're creating a concept too, and like developing that world, you can't just, you know, oh, I want this, I want that and then not really think about like, oh, how's that gonna, how are you gonna be able to accomplish that? How are you gonna be able to achieve a level of believability because nobody knows how, what your budget is. They're not gonna judge you based on that. They're just gonna judge you on your work. So, you know, and then you're competing with giants. You're competing with people who have hundreds of millions of dollars. So when I see a place like this and it, it matches, so I saw Blue Cloud Ranch and that had the, the hangar aspect and then I looked, oh, I was like, this is kind of, this is a hangar, oh man. And then I was like, oh, okay, this guy's got all the tools. Like, oh, perfect. So then I go back and I'm like writing and rewriting the script to match all the things that I've seen. So that's, you know, you write your script and then it evolves and it evolves and it evolves. The biggest challenge I think is then, you know, when you're filming, normally they're just following the script and trying to get all those pieces. I want my team to get out of that, like, okay, how do we expand this? How do we make this? and kind of giving them the power to kind of like think that way so we can expand and contract in different places. I mean, that's that's creativity. So like I'm all incorporating all these things that would be normally very, very, very expensive to do on a closed soundstage and trying to bring it here. And there's, you know, there's a give and take because there's gonna be sound from helicopters, there's gonna be activity. Fortunately in post, I know what, what I can accomplish. I'm not really in much of it. So to me, sometimes I think, oh, that's that's an easy day for me. If not, if I'm not back and forth, then I know how many pages I gotta shoot. I know I can do it. This is more about trying to get, get even more during that day. So that's it, that's the day.